What's going on guys? Hey, we are about, I should say we, I'm about to take you through a stretch through um, mobility priming session. Okay, so the first movement that we have here, um, we are driving the knee over the toes. I try to drive the knee um, out to the pinky toe. Okay, this is going to stretch your calf, your Achilles. This is something I did a lot uh, during PT um, when I tore my Achilles and I came to love it. So that's going to be the first movement, of course, do it on both legs. Again, this is something that, you know, I really never stretched before I uh, injured myself. And now it's something that I do um, just about every every time I work out, right? Because I know my body, if I'm not stretching, if I just jump into a workout, my body will not be happy whatsoever. So um, I typically do eight on both legs. Now we're going to drop that knee down to the ground. Um, I, this is like a 90-90 progression where you're driving that chest over your knee um, and you're really, you know, it's not a static stretch. You're not holding it. You're coming up and down. Uh, you usually do that six to eight times and then the last uh, rep I will hold in that position. You should feel this up your hip, um, flexors, and um, even lower back too. So this is really just opening up your hips. So we're going to switch sides and do the same thing. Um, and if you're not warming up now during your workout, I would highly, highly recommend doing it. Um, prevent so many injuries and just like when my body's stiff or sore, um, things are out of line, um, just stretch, right? This is something that you should be doing every single day. And this is something that, you know, I always would tell people to do, but I didn't do it consistently. Um, now we got mountain climbers. So hands under your shoulders in a plank position, keeping the core tight. And we're driving that leg up to the side of the arm, planting that foot into the ground. This is also going to be opening up those hip flexors. So if you're running, doing any um, squat variations, anything like that, I really like to open up the hips. Um, this next movement, I just call it butt the heels. I'm not even sure if that's the right name for it, but again, opening up the hip flexors, rocking back and forth, priming, getting blood, uh, working into the muscles. Uh, this one always feels good too because my hip flexors are typically pretty tight um, and this movement helps me out quite a bit. So it's a weird position though. I don't like doing it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right. So from there, we're threading the needle, we're dropping that shoulder down, planting it into the ground. Um, a progression here, or even if you want to um, do that stretch, do it, hold it for two seconds, then rotate to the other side. Today, I would just slow and control, holding it. Um, this is more of a static stretch. So static stretch is where you're holding that stretch um, there. And um, yeah, so I like doing this stretch. Um, again, all these stretches are, are kind of personalized, but I like to hit the full body. Um, these ones, I don't even know what these are called. I know it's like some type of variation of open books, um, but open up that middle back, the thoracic spine, Again, not even sure the terminology of it, but I do it literally every single workout because, you know, I sit a lot, my shoulders are rounded, my, my upper back uh, is usually pretty tight. So uh, make sure to do that. Usually do five to eight of these um, for every workout. So if you made it this far though in this video, let me know some, some good stretches that you do. If, you, if, you've, you know, if you're watching and you're not seeing a stretch that, that you do every single time, let me know. Cause I, you know, I always like uh, trying new things out. These are handcuffs. You're gonna place the back of your hand on your lower back and you're gonna try to drive that elbow up uh, to the ceiling. Same thing, kind of opening up that upper back. Um, for a lot of us, you know, if we're sitting behind a desk all day, our shoulders round forward, we're on our phones, looking down, typing, driving, like, um, so it's super, super important to hit that. Um, this next one, I don't even know what to call it. Again, I should know all the, all the names for these things, but I don't. But you're going to put one leg out, plant that heel into the ground. Uh, then you're just driving those hips back. Again, opening up those hip flexors. This one always feels good. Uh, so if you do have tight hips, I would highly recommend you doing these um, every single day. Yeah, the gym was popping this morning. I was I was planning on setting setting a tripod up and talking through this at the gym, uh, but the music was loud. There was like 20 people there, so that's why we're doing a little voiceover, um, little calf stretch here. Again, not necessary whatsoever. Like a lot of these things, like if you if you're hitting upper body, like you don't need to be doing all this lower body stuff. 
Uh, but me, I do a lot of full body workouts and I usually just stretch everything. So um, all personal preference here. Again, I don't think there's no right or wrong thing to do. I think if you're somebody watching this right now and you don't stretch, um, doing something is gonna be better than nothing, right? So um, don't get too picky about it. But if you like like this so far, maybe just put this on, I'll put this in your earbud or follow along um, the stretch, you know, do it a few times and then you can come back um, if you forgot anything um, and, and do the stretching routine. So these, I just recently started doing these. Uh, this feels super, super good on my shoulders. Um, sh my shoulder mobility isn't the best. Uh, right when those hands come together, like. It's just kind of a sticky point. So I'm really gonna be focusing on these um, to make sure. So that's all she wrote. Little five minute warm up ability. Make sure you're stretching. Do it, it's important.